Hello, Aries. Rambling Mike here, gonna play a little bit of tarot with you today. Thanks for tuning in one more time, Aries. Appreciate your view. Thanks for clicking that old button right there. Appreciate that so very much. I always wanna take a minute of gratitude for my many, many Aries friends that have blessed me over the years. Aries, if you've ever blessed me in any way, shape, or form. Thank you so very much. So very kind of you, my friends. Going to do relationships, Fred. They can talk about homework. They are popping here too, Aries. Huh? They can talk about homework, family, the neighbors. Man, they are jumping. Ah, uh, the kids. You know me. I'm looking for a love story, though, for my Aries baby. So I got some love cards. I got Dancing in the Dark for my He Said, She Said clarifiers. I got a major. We're going to... Top it off. I'm going to freestyle tonight with the Egyptian Art Nebu. Hey, doing the, doing the giveaway again one more time. Don't know how long I'm going to do it, but I'm definitely going to do it through the month of March if you want to play. Going to give away another FaceTime tarot reading, a couple of tarot decks, a bunch of t-shirts. The last Sunday in March, that's the 31st, 31st of March, 6 p.m. Eastern. That'll be a Sunday night. If you'd like to play, drop me a comment. Give me a happy face. Give me a high mic. I will return a little ticket. Aries, let you know your name's in the barrel. Thanks for all your love and your support. Let's play some tarot around here. Aries, Aries, Aries. What's going on? Aries Collective. Aries, Aries, Aries. Let's do it. Let's do it. Time to cut this deck. Aries, sun, moon, rising, Venus. What's going on around here? Aries style. Ooh, temperance showed up. Temperance showed up. Um, traditionally, this is Michael the Archangel. I don't know who this, I don't know who this Egyptian god is. Looks pretty amazing, though. Um... You know, a lot of people just take this card right here and go, well, that's patience. You know, that's patience. It's more than that for me. I call this uh, learning the art of allowance. Learning to allow nothing but the best into your life. Looks like the gods are mixing up some cups around here, Aries. Temperance is an overall major arcana that is Sagittarius. Let's go, let's go. The gods and the goddesses run off the bat, mixing up some cups for my Aries babies. Oh, wow. They, they be mixing up some fun cups around here, Aries. Four of Wands came out. Um, this is my card about, you know, preparing for the big day. And, uh, I mean, also with the Temperance and Four of Wands. Um, that's the old 11-11 card right there, Aries. You know, wow. What could be coming in here for you? <laughs> Aries, Aries, baby. Let's play some tarot around here, huh? Aries, somebody hit that like button right there. Got temperance and four of wands right off the bat. Give me something. What's going on then? Who's this? Who's this? You know, king of love, king of cups. Could be Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Huh? <laughs> uh, that can talk about somebody maybe that you know. Somebody that may not have been telling you um, how deeply they feel for you, Aries. Wow. Wow. This is about preparing for the big day. <laughs> preparing for the big day. King of Love showed up. I like King of Love. I like the King of Love. Even though, you know... Uh, <laughs> who's all this? Who's all this? The gods and the goddesses. Uh, <laughs> I love this deck, man. Ah, oh, there's, there's all your, that's all your heavenly hosts right there, Aries. Uh, what is this? This is judgment. This is a uh, rebirth. Uh, Phoenix from its ashes. It's a Scorpio major arcana. I told you the gods got a plan around here, Aries. <laughs> you may know who this. King is. That can be a, a man or a woman. You know me. I don't got gender with tarot cards. 
Oh, okay, Aries. Aries, it's a rebirth energy here for you. Phoenix from its ashes even. Wow. Uh, I can't talk about this king of king of cups. This, I call him the king of love or the queen of love right here. Um, can talk about them having some kind of uh, awakening, enlightenment about maybe a four of wands journey. You know, because we got my we got temperance. We got temperance as an overall man. Wow. Okay. Looks like all the heavenly hosts are involved around here. Aries. Oh, what's going on with Aries? Aries is like, we're busy, Mike. This is eight pins. We're, we're busy over here, Mike. We're just, we're just stacking some coins. Hey, this is kind of nice right here. I mean, a high vibration on eight pins for me can be about life purpose. What is unfolding here? Anyway, I hope, I hope your finances are looking good, but I think the ancestors got a little something planned for you over here. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look at you, man. Look at you, Aries. You are rocking it anymore, huh? This is my independent, self-assured, confident business person right here, right now. Wow, Aries, an eight of pins to a nine of pins now. You know what this says to me? <laughs> it says to me, if you're single right now, and this is resonating with you a little bit, uh, enjoy your days of being single. <laughs> and let's go. Aries, Aries, I'm digging this right here. I'm digging it, I'm digging it. Yeah, because it looks like somebody that you may know, um, this is a big Pisces major arcana, that's Hangman, Feels like it belongs to that king or that queen of love right there. This is about somebody thinking differently, somebody feeling differently, somebody believing differently these days. About Aries, wow, wow, lots of majors, lots of majors. Aries, Aries, I am so digging this for you. Wow, we got some big change coming in around here. We got some big change coming in around here. Majors all over. Aries. Aries. It's the Emperor. So, I mean, some of you may know. Some of you may know who this is, right? The Emperor just showed up in the Four of Wands story. It's got all the ancestors involved in it. It's got a rebirth right here. Things have been going slow. Looks like uh, they're about to pick up. This is Aries seated in their power, male or female. It's also divine masculine energy that showed up in your spread, having thinking differently and feeling differently and believing differently about this. Four of Wands. Very, very nice. Let's go, let's go. This major's right here, man. I'm going to show them, and it's Anubis. It's another Scorpio card. It's death and rebirth and major transformation. Going on around here in the Aries spread. What is going on with divine masculine, male or female? I like it, to be honest with you. I like what's going on with our, with our divine masculines. I love divine masculine. That I do. We need them. Okay. Got major arcanas all over, all over, all over this king of love right here. From my Aries. Oh, there's Aries. Another major arcana. Hey, there's more than the majors in this deck. But this is an Aries card. It's the magician. It's my deliberate creator over here, Aries. <laughs> For me, you know, um, it's about pure positive thoughts and pure positive words and inspired action as above, so below. Pretty nice cards, right? Oh, look at what you're manifesting. Look at what you're manifesting. Hi, Aries. Here's my cop. Oh, Lordy. Oh, Lordy. <laughs> oh, I'm telling you. 
Hey, enjoy your days of being single. <laughs> That's all about to change. See that right there, man. That's that old ten of cupper. That's that old ten of cupper, huh? The, the happy ever after card showed up. Said you're manifesting your lover. Said you're manifesting your lover. Oh, wow. Look at the cards, man. Six of wands. Oh, yeah. I'm having fun here. Hope you are too, Aries. Six of Wands, this is my card about victory after a battle. Confidence in yourself. Receiving the attention that you're worthy of. It's also, you know, a lot of people jump at this one as, you know, the big day. I see this one as preparing for the big day. I see this one right here as the big day. The big day showed up. Ten of Cups, man. The lover. The lover coming in for my Aries, baby, with the cup. Wow, I don't even want to play anymore with that deck. Profound reading right here. So let's play with Dancing in the Dark. Let's take a little look at the he said, she says around here. Let's use the lover as Aries' friend, huh? Let's use the lover for Aries' friend, the significator for... Aries friend, let's use the magician for Aries, and let's put ten of cups in between these two. Let's play some tarot around here, huh? We are setting our intentions, and we got some manifestation going on around here. Very positive manifestation. Let's go, let's go. A couple of cards right here. A couple of cards right here. Aries friend got the love cup in their hand. Let's see what they're thinking and feeling about here. Let's see what's been going on with them. They may have been dragging their feet a little bit. I didn't see two swords right there. You know? Let's see what's going on. Oh, ten, 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 ten cups. Wow. Two swords. This is something that's not in the land in decision no more. Let's go, Aries. Aries, tell me about the tell me about the lover right here. What are they thinking and feeling about Aries? What are they thinking and feeling about Aries? Ooh, King of Pins. You may have some Earth in your chart. You may not. Um, for me, that's uh, that's the King or the Queen of the world. <laughs> Damn, I guess they have made up their mind. That's somebody that's grounded, balanced, loving, stable, generous, kind, giving. Full of wisdom, entrepreneur energy. Wow. Wow. <laughs> okay, they're thinking pretty highly of Aries right here. Yeah, they're coming out of a hangman's tree. They're coming out of a hangman's tree, Aries. Let's go, let's go. Wow, I just said they're coming out of the hangman's tree. There's judgment. There's judgment. That's Phoenix from its ashes. Like I said, I did see two swords. So... Looks like they've made up their mind. <laughs> Major Arcanas, huh? What's this world card right here, Aries? It's about leaving an old cycle behind and starting a brand new world. With Aries, with Aries. Wow, Majors. Majors, man. Well, they called you, you know, the king of the world or the queen of the world. Man, man. <laughs> I was going to let that one go right there. Uh, you know, I mean, where are we? Just a couple days into March, huh? Looks like March could be kind of exciting, huh? Here's Aries. There you are, showing up again, male or female. My nine of pentacles, my independence, self-assured, confident, business person. I see you stacking coins over here, eight pins. Now, this is somebody that just don't want to play, They're, you know. Um... They don't want to play. It's a magician, right? It's a magician. Uh, they're only looking for somebody that has that uh, that golden coin. Oh, look. There it is right there. Wow, that makes ten pins. Wow, that's a nice looking couple right there. Damn, a little power couple right here. Oh, la la, man. Okay, Aries, Nine of Pentacles energy on here for you. Let's, you know, that's, uh, that's my little Empress energy right there. Wow, it's gorgeous, man. Give some for Aries. Give some for Aries. <laughs> yeah, wow, these cards, man. 
Aries, that's nine cups. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you got some nines right here. You got some nines right here. I mean, nines are about uh, the completion of a cycle. It does go to the 10, but in my opinion, the 10 immediately reduces to the ace. So you're right there, man. This is something beautiful coming in right now. The lovers. The lovers, Aries. The lovers. <laughs> a fresh start. A new beginning. I love that crown on there, man. Oh, this 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 king or queen over here, they have a crown, man. There's a crown on that sword right there. Enlightenment, awakening, that is a card of victory. It's also a card of true that. True that. <laughs> All right, a couple of love cards around here. A couple of love cards around here. A couple of love cards for Aries. 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 Unrequited love. You know, that didn't even show up in the story. I mean, it could be talking about the days of unrequited love being over. Yeah. <laughs> oh, let's go, Aries. Aries. What? Oh. See, they may have been dragging their feet here a little bit. Hmm. Because what came out next is loving yourself first. So my magician's been pouring these love cups into yourself for a minute right here, haven't you? You know, love stories all an inside job. Stories like this, they just don't fall down from heaven. They don't. It's an inside job. It comes from the inside out, Aries, huh? Wow, you, 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 uh, you changed your whole world up right here. I'm just spoiling on yourself for a minute. See, it's right here, man. Look at two nine pins. This is somebody that's been loving on themselves for a minute. Well, I'm letting the story unfold right here. Impressive. Look at all oh, the flirt. <laughs> Flirty flirt showed up. Playfulness to recapture romance. Allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Heart to heart conversations. Honestly discussing your feelings with each other. Wow, wow, what a nice spread, man, as we go into March, huh, Aries? Give me Major Arcana for my Aries, babies. A Major Arcana for Aries, Aries. Yeah, yeah, you've been on the mountaintop for a minute, maybe. Again, just letting a beautiful love story unfold for many of you. That's a Virgo card. And you can see the comments that talk to me about the planets lining up in your favor. Be led and guided by the divine, healing the heart, healing the mind. Beautiful energy right there. We don't we don't stay up on the mountaintop forever. Looks like Aries coming off the mountaintop, man. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Give me one more for my Aries babies. <laughs> Sun change to the lovers and a new world for Aries. <laughs> <laughs> Sudden change and the lovers, an old cycle ending and a new cycle beginning for my Aries. Oh, I love how these cards came out here for you, man. After the mountaintop, after the mountaintop, loving on yourself right there. Bam, sudden change um, with the lovers, with the lovers, a new world. And this to the fool, right? So... Very nice cards right here about you completing an old cycle. Maybe your friend too, huh? Both of you probably mirror each other considerably with this story right here. Um, uh, both of you seeing yourself right as this golden angelic being, uh, seeing the world as your oyster. And it starts that new cycle. This is 21. This is 21 in the major arcanas, which starts again with the fool about a fresh start and a new beginning in life. What an outstanding reading, Aries. Hey, we made it this far in the vid. Thank you for your view. Appreciate it so very, very much. If you're new around here, 
Hopefully I've earned your subscription as one of your YouTube tarot readers. If I have a smash that subscription button right there, huh? Ring my bell. Hit that old I like Mike button if you would. I got some vids around here somewhere. Um, you may want to take a look at my playlist. Um, anyway. Aries. Beautiful, beautiful spread. May all your dreams come true, my friend. And if you want, drop me a comment. Get your name in for the March giveaway. All my love, Aries. Bye for now, my magician. Wow. Oh.